Hello, Cancers. Welcome to your today's energies. First of all, I'd like to welcome back my clients and my subscribers. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. Okay, we have appreciation. Okay, let's take a peep. We have the boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Take action. Increase your efforts. Egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So keep doing up the hard work because you're going to be rewarded for it. The peacock. Beware of great pride. Someone's pride is getting in the way. Okay. So be careful that their pride doesn't get in the way of a relationship. Okay. That came out. Ace of Swords. Okay, what's going on for today's Energy Love Reading? What's going on? Okay, here we go. We have the Lovers. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Highest Priestess. And we have the Ace of Cups. Overall energy. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. You got the Empress. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Nine of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Appreciation. Okay. Again, um, with the Empress. Again, beautiful energy. Okay. With Taurus and Libra. Someone around you or you, okay, is very sensual, very sexual, has great physical attraction, can grow, can thrive, can develop, full of abundance, has great things going for her. She has power. She has strength. She has everything. And when she loves, she loves wholeheartedly. She loves with her heart and soul. Okay. Again, beautiful, beautiful energy with Taurus and Libra. So you have appreciation, okay, with your um, energy oracle card. Okay. Again, it's very similar to the impress. You're very, you're, you're going to choose gratification, okay? The woman is holding the single rose here, okay? And she enjoys the scent and beauty and everything around her, right? And she can be very um, lovable. She's very focused on, on things that are around her. Um, you have much to be grateful for. Okay. You have a relationship that is in the works right now. Okay. Appreciate what you have. And again, you're going to receive everything that you want. You're going to choose appreciation because the decisions and everything that you are going to make in your life are going to lead you to complete fulfillment. And you're going to be very appreciated for what you have. Okay. And again, it is around you. There's a lot of appreciation here. Okay. So things are going to turn around for you big time. Again, um, increase your efforts. Okay. Because you want to achieve your goals. So Start taking action. Start doing it. Success, 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 success is assured with good plans and hard work. So it, you're going to have everything. You have that nest egg, right? Things are going to grow. Okay, so you're in a relationship right now with the lover's card. Again, you're destined and fated to be together. Plain and simple. The longer the two of you are going to be together, the deeper your love is going to grow. Okay, your commitment, you're in a very committed relationship. This is a, a, a phenomenal partnership between the two of you. Okay, and 
you're going to share, learn, appreciate. It's all about giving, sharing, and learning with each other. And it's going to grow and it's going to flourish. So you're destined fated to be together, okay? But you're going to be undecisive in the beginning. You're going to be uncertain, right? Because when you say, well, things look too good to be true, it probably is, right? Well, that is the case in a lot of things, but not in this case, all right? This is a brand new beginning for you, and it's going to lead to the ultimate fulfillment. You've been waiting for this for a long, long time with the Seven of Pentacles. You've planted the, the harvest and everything, and you've done all the waiting and patience and everything, right? Put in all the hard work and... You're waiting for this relationship to transpire, to happen, okay? So, again, don't let great pride get in your way, okay? Because you're a very proud person, okay? The King of Swords is a very proud person. The very confident, um, the very intellectual, the very knowledgeable. They have a lot of courage and a lot of wisdom. They like to analyze the situation. And sometimes pride gets in the way right? Because you're going to use your head over your heart in this situation. And because you don't want to be, you know, having grief, loss, disappointment, and despair. So again, you're going to take action. You're going to get after what you want, what you need, what you desire. And you're going to use your head over your heart because you don't want to have heartache, right? Appreciate what you have around you. Let go of that pride, okay? Let go of the pride and let that barrier down because you have a beautiful new beginning with this person, okay? Again, there are a lot of energies here. Energies can be vice versa or interchangeable and timing is fluid, okay? So you're dealing with somebody who is very sexual, very nurturing, very loving, very loyal, has great chemistry. And, you know, this person is around you already with the Six of Cups, this is revived love. It's reminiscing, it's sharing, it's being familiar, it's knowing the person already, okay? And you are you want to share, you want to give, you want to receive. This person has eyes for you, big time, that you're not realizing, okay? And you waited for a long time for this to happen. Well, you, you're gaining a wish. It's happening now. Again, you're destined and fated to be together. You're genuine soulmates. And you're going to share, learn, and appreciate new beginnings, new opportunities. That's going to lead to the ultimate fulfillment. Trust your intuition. Trust it. Because it's spot on with the highest priestess. Where you just know, you feel it, you feel everything is right, you feel everything is whole, you feel everything is just in tune, you know, you're, this person is dancing to your tune and you're dancing to their tune. So again, go with your gut intuition because it's going to lead you to fulfillment, okay? Again, cancer energy. So you have a new beginning with this person. Again, it's a brand new beginning. You have the Page of Pentacles. You're out there. You're exploring with new opportunities and new beginnings. And you're, you know, full of excitement and you're full of adventure. And you're you're wanting more. You're making long-term plans and you're looking for complete fulfillment. Well, it's going to fall in your lap, okay? Again, you're out of balance, okay, with the Two of Pentacles. You have to make a choice. Either you pass by this situation and i really don't suggest that you do okay because one you have the wheel of fortune as well in the bottom of the deck it's fate and destiny it's a brand new beginning for you okay the wheels turning in your favor which is an upswing of great luck and great success right you're going to meet a new crowd of people you're going to explore this new beautiful beginning around you so again it's fate and destiny that has brought the two of you together and again you know should i or shouldn't i should i or shouldn't i well you should you should make that right choice so again there's a lot of energies here energies can be vice versa or interchangeable and timing is fluid so we have taurus and libra uh, let's just start over with uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. 
So again, and because we have a rod here, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So again, this is the beginning of something very positive. Okay, you're going to emerge with great energize energy. You're going to feel fully charged. You're going to have intense, full passion. This is a relationship that's going to bind together and it's going to grow. Again, it's all about creativity, having fun, uh, sharing, giving and receiving, being romantic and idealistic and bringing two people together and being alive and being romanced together and full of passion and chemistry, big time. It is a brand new relationship. Again, it is from the divine with the Ace of Cups. This is positive change. This is perfection and success. This is like a woman comes to the wishing well and she is wishing that she meets her knight in shining armor, right? Or a man uh, comes to the wishing well and wants to meet his knight in shining armor as well again right and your wishes are granted dreams coming true again this is a new beginning this is a birth of love this is happiness this is giving sharing and receiving with each other the closer you're going to get the deeper level of commitment and understanding your relationship is going to be beautiful energy you also okay are going to go after what it is that you want again this is um going forward with the ace of swords Okay, you're getting to the truth. You're going to learn the truth that this person truly loves you. They truly want to be with you. It's not a negative card. It's a new venture. It's going to be a new way of life. It's seeing things very clearly with great inner strength, great inner courage, great inner wisdom, seeing the situation and learning the truth about it. Okay, so you're going to learn the truth that this person loves you. This person has eyes for you. I see the my guardian angels are showing me eyes and they're like glittering, glittering eyes. And again, there's going to be a lot of love, a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of appeal here, a lot of physical attraction. And it's going to grow. It's going to grow and flourish and thrive. So let's put some clarifiers on it. Okay. So let's clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please. And thank you, angels. And again, appreciate what you have around you. Don't take it for granted, okay? And let go of the pride. Swallow that pride. This person wants to be with you. So let's clarify the lovers, please, and thank you. This is harmony after the strain with the Six of Swords. You're leaving everything behind and going forward in a new direction towards new opportunities that are going to lead to fulfillment. Right now you have a clear mind, clear heart, clear soul, and you're welcoming a new change, a positive change for the better. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Again, it's going to happen very, very quickly. It flew out with the Eight of Wands. This is news and communication between the two of you. It's going to grow. It's going to flourish. It's going to thrive. Again, it's Cupid's arrows being thrown towards you. It's very quick and very fast-paced. News and communication. Either they're going to knock on your door, okay, because this person is around you, or you're, they're going to send you a message or give you a phone call or text message, email, again, okay? Again, this is news and communication with the two of you. Beautiful card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Synergy. So, let's clarify the uh, Ace of Swords. Again, you're going to learn the truth about this person. I see it as an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? Again, this person loves a challenge. This person is very warm and very caring. They're very fearless. They're very powerful. They're very strong. They focus to achieve. They're all about strength. They're faithful. They're warm. They're nourishing. They're patient. They're very determined. They're vibrant. They're very well-liked. And again, you're going to learn the truth about this person, that this person has eyes for you and has a strong 
connection with you. Okay. Again, it's fate and destiny that is bringing the two of you together. Okay. So let's clarify. Um, the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, please and thank you. Again, all your hard work and patience is finally going to be paid off with the Knight of Pentacles. Again, it's not the fastest moving knight in the tarot, okay? But it is coming in, all right? Again, it's not the fastest. You're going to take th things slow. But this is all about being solid and stable in a committed relationship. Very protective. It's your shining armor. And it's going to grow. It's going to flourish and thrive. And you planted the seeds for this. And now it's going to happen for you. Again, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. So let's clarify the High Priestess. Ace of Wands, again, listen to that intuition. Listen to that intuition where you know, again, it's a new beginning. You already feel it deep within your soul. It's a new beginning. It's positive change, full of energy and chemistry and passion, intense passion for that. You're going to feel charged, ready to go. You're going to learn something new about each other and it's going to grow. It's going to flourish. It's going to thrive. All your willpower, all your creativity and desire is all going to lead to complete fulfillment. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So again, your intuition is spot on about this person. You feel their connection already. So put aside the pride. Take the effort. Appreciate this. And take the steps that you need to make to get this going. All right. What else do we need to know about this reading? Please and thank you, angels. Again, they have eyes for you big time. Their eyes are glittering for you. Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning. Positive change that's going to lead to complete fulfillment. Everything you wanted, needed, desire is right here. It's a new relationship. It's going to be balance. It's going to be harmony. There's going to be contentment. There's going to be joy. There's going to be success and genuine love. You're going to be wanted, nourished, relished, cherished, and it's going to be reciprocated. They feel the same way. So put that pride aside. Put that pride aside and go after this new beginning. Don't lose this opportunity. Again, you're destined and fated to be together with the wheel. Okay? Big time is a genuine relationship. Okay? Again, it's fate and destiny that has brought this into your life. And appreciate all the moments that you're going to have. Be very appreciative to it. Okay, because things like this don't come around often. All right. And again, take the steps, take the steps, make the effort, put aside that pride and go after what you want, because you're going to have the ultimate fulfillment. Please like, share, subscribe and leave a comment, especially if it resonates with you. Please hit the like button so this video can get out there and circulate. And please hit the notification button so you're notified of upcoming videos. Much love and light. I love you all so very, very much. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.